ABC Kinder Teach presents a land of books, dreams of young Mexica word painters, written by Duncan Tonati Yu. Our world, my brother, is an Almuaishtlalpan, a land of books. In the jungles where the jaguar dwells or lives, the Chantalteen make books, and they are Indians that are known as Mayans. In the mountains, the Mixteca, the cloud people make them as well. So do others on the coast and in the forest. And we, the mighty Mexica, who dwell in the valley of the volcanoes, make books too. Our parents are Tlaquiloque painters of words. The Almoistin, or books, they make tell the stories of our gods, our history, our people. They work with others at the Almoistkali, the house of books. With the passing of time, their names will be lost like the smoke of incense, something that is burned and smells good, when the wind blows, but their spirits shall remain. The words they paint will be sung by countless generations, many parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, etc. To come, one day, my brother, we will be painters of words too. The Amoistin, or books, our parents make are long strips of paper with multiple page folds. This folds, this folds, this folds, this folds. On each end they have covers made with wood. So the ends are made with wood. Our parents decorate the covers with the hides of jaguars, feathers, and precious stones, jewels like diamonds. The books expand out. That is how the priests display them at the temple. They can also be folded down and stored easily at the Amwashkali, or the house of books, like a library. Our parents make books with a metal, paper, usually made from the bark of a tree. I helped them make it, and now you can too. First, we soak the bark of the amakwawita, a type of ficus tree, in water with limestone. Limestone looks like this. We boil the mixture and smash it into a pulp. We then press the pulp into thin sheets to dry. Look at how colorful the Amoistin, or books, are. Our parents obtained the dyes to paint from plants, animals, and rocks. And dyes are a bit like uh, ink. The most important paints are black and red. They are sacred colors that Tlaquiloque use the most. To make black paint, paint we mix ashes with gum and water and to make red paint we collect the cochineal insects and that's what this looks like they use them to get coloring from that live on the nopali a type of cactus we dry the bugs crush them and boil the red color they make with clay and water. So they take those bugs and then they basically squish them and then they use the color to dye and paint stuff. Father paints on a uh, metal or paper, but he also paints on walls when he decorates the temple and he chisels 
which looks like this. Words in stone when he carves images. Our grandparents taught him these arts, and in time our parents will teach us. So not only do they draw in books, they also draw on various types of things like stone or rocks, big rocks. But our parents also learned at the Kalmykak school. We will study there too. We will take classes alongside young nobles or people like princes and queens and warriors or fighters. Father says a painter of words needs to know religion, astronomy, the study of outer space, warfare, how to fight, and history among other subjects. Tlaquiloque need to know a great deal to express knowledge with paint. Not everyone can read the words our parents paint though. Only noblemen, priests, and wise elders or older people have access or can see the books to the Almoishtin or the books and have been taught how to interpret or understand what they mean them. They understand the colors and the layout of the pages. They know why people sometimes look bigger than pyramids in the books and this is what a pyramid looks like. Those that cannot read the drawings may think they are strange, but everything in an Amoistli, or book, is painted as it is for a reason. So whatever they do, it's for a reason. Tomorrow is the flower festival. The books our family has painted will be sung by a reader. Uh, that is when a Masewali, a villager, has a chance to hear the words and admire the images. Tonight when we sleep, my brother, let us dream of our moishtin, or books. Let's dream of how in the beginning the universe was formless without a clear shape. But out of that darkness came the Lord of what is near and far, who gave birth to four main gods, one in the north, one in the east, one in the south, and one in the west. He tasked these four Tezcatlipoca, with the creation of the world and mankind. Let's dream of the great migration. It's when you move a long ways away and oftentimes many people move with you at the same time. Long ago our ancestors left as Tlen the island where they lived after the god Blue Hummingbird spoke to them. He told them to search for an eagle atop a prickly full of thorns. No poly, a type of cactus. After many years of pilgrimage, a long trip to a religious place, our ancestors saw the sign and settled on the shores of the Tetzcoco Lake. There they flourished or lived good lives. They built the great city of Tenochtitlan and our powerful empire. Let's dream about our great Tlaqui Loke and how these leaders governed or ruled. The books show the enemies they defeated and who they wed to create alliances, other groups of people they worked with. Dream of Amoishtin, or books, that are maps to define territories, and the books that track tributes like shields, helmets, boxes of seeds, honey, and precious feathers that the people we have conquered must send to our empire. 
Let's dream of tonalat metal. They are the books that keep the count of days. Today is crocodile. Tomorrow will be wind. Each week is 13 days long and is governed by a different god like Tonatiwa, god of the sun, or Talalak, god of the rain. Wise elders or older people interpret the calendar books to predict which days are favorable for important events like weddings, planting corn, and launching attacks or to begin attacking someone else. And let's dream of the Amoishtin about our sisters, the plants, and what illnesses they cure, or about the movements of the moon and stars, or of great battles and warriors. Dream now, my brother, of all the words, gods, people, animals, plants, and places we will one day paint. Wake up, my brother. The day is here. We will soon leave for the plaza, kind of a meeting place in the center of town, to attend the flower festival. Look at the uh, Tali. See the colors, hear the performers sing, the words our family painted. Listen to the drums, the shells, and rattles play while the words are sung. Watch the warriors dance as the Amoash Tali is read. Smell the smoke of the aromatic or good smelling Kopali as it blows in the wind. May our world always be an Amoash Tlalpan, a land of books.